In this demo, we're going to find out if AI can handle an advanced refactoring technique called refactoring to the open closed. We're going to integrate the custom combo boxes that we built into our prompt manager. Let's see if we can do it. Refactoring is changing the implementation without changing the behavior. And when we're doing true refactoring, even the bugs remain because any change in behavior whatsoever means that we're no longer refactoring, but actually enhancing or, or, or modifying the code. Refactoring to the open close is kind of easy to understand when you're talking about, you know, changing a concrete class to use a polymorphic set, for example. This is pretty straightforward. Here, we're actually adding a whole subsystem. The custom combo boxes that we built have a lot of linkages, have a lot of relationships, both to each other in a system and to the rest of the prompt manager. So taking the idea of refactoring to the open close and applying it to adding in a subsystem is a bit of a stretch. I think it would be a bit of a stretch for any developer, but I'm asking Claude to do this. I'm asking Claude to, in principle, be able to cleanly add this new combo box system into our existing system. Now, the good news is that our existing system simply uses combo boxes and um, our interface, our custom combo box is basically the same. So it should be pretty straightforward to add. So I asked the AI to do some refactoring. Our main module was over a thousand lines long and we were both struggling to comprehend what was going on in it. We had a lot of errors start cropping up. It was because it, it's unmanageable. We have tons and tons of stuff. So whenever you go and build something, the after it's built and working and all the tests are passing, I think the very next thing you should do is refactor the code so it is healthy. So that's what I'm asking. I'm saying, good job, because you always want to compliment your AI when they do, do something good. That makes them want to do it more. And, you know, when you're experimenting, when you're going and, and full force building stuff, it's really easy to get make code messy. So I asked us to get to green bar as quickly as we could and uh, then to refactor the code. I'm very excited to see how Cursor and Claude implement this. And I'm also a bit scared because in my experience, <laughs> they have been doing amazingly well, like at the senior developer level. And I've been asking an enormous amount that this project, this whole project is all about stress testing the AIs to, to see if I can break them out, break them down. And so far I've been failing. So far, Claude has been uh, you know, doing exceptionally well. And we have gone on the, off the rails a bit here and there, and I've been able to recover us. Um, so it does take some skill, but still, I mean, it's mind blowing how good they are. Oh, interesting. And look at this, it's giving me a nice layout of what it should look like. I'll review this. And we've come up with some real good improvements. Uh, we've extracted several different services like port services and template services, also prompt services. Claude reorganized the routes so that there's better routing, created a folder structure for the services and the routes. Now we have small files, low cyclomatic complexity. We went from 1,426 lines of a monolithic file to multiple focused files with clear boundaries. The main app, instead of 1,426 lines, is now only 15 lines long. So it's creating new modules, template services, prompt services, and you know, 80 or 152 lines in each. That's a lot better than 1,000 lines. This is the prompt manager. And instead of integrating the custom combo boxes into the template builder here, what I saw happen was it created a new page called the Combo Box Builder. That's not exactly what I want. I want it all integrated into the Template Builder. So I am going to say that and see what it comes up with. One of the things that I'm asking the AI to do is to tell me what it learns from this whole process. And it's using exploratory testing to discover things about the implementation so that it can modify it. So that's really good. So I just want to point out that the AI is having some difficulty. It's, there's some challenges around uh, file corruption and, and stuff like that. 
uh, I'm not surprised the main module is over a thousand lines long, and I really want us to refactor that, but we got to get to green bar first. So we got some errors we're going to try to run and see if we can get beyond these errors, and then we're going to refactor. This is the directive I give myself and my colleagues when I'm stuck. Let's get to green bar so we can refactor. We get to a point where it just gets to overwhelming, and we all are finite, even AI. So when it gets overwhelming for AI, we got to like step back and refactor. Integrating a, a, a control that we built, I thought it would be the easiest step, but it has turned out to be the hardest step. Claude has been having a really hard time integrating our custom combo box into the prompt manager. Everything's working. It's going to run all the tests, make sure we're in green bar, and then we're going to clean okay. things up. Be very interested to see how it does with the cleanup. Excellent. All 18 tests are passing. And just like that, it got done. Uh, so 18 new integration tests, zero breaking changes. It's an extensible design. We have comprehensive test coverage. So we are going to add it to Git. We still have to integrate our custom combo box into the prompt manager. And there's still some problems with the custom combo box. It's not as robust as it was previously. So this is an interesting learning from working with AI. When we have enough space to be able to add the feature easily, that's when we're done refactoring. And then we start adding the new feature. Learning how to recover from situations like this is going to be critical. Next week, hopefully, we'll be able to integrate the custom combo boxes and move forward. Until next time, happy prompting.